Hi, this is Hongshu from MotionCircles.com. Today I'll be teaching you how to achieve this animation in After Effects. I've attached the working file in the description. Feel free to download it and follow along. Without further ado, let's jump right in. This tutorial is inspired by Matt Voice from the UK. He did a lot of these fun type animations as you can see on the screen right now. If you want to check out more, you can check his Behance account. Let's get started. Now we're inside After Effects. As you can see here, I've got a guide layer. The opacity is at 40%. It's basically a guide of the position of my letters. And over here, you can see all these different letters. I've singled out all these letters. Each one letter is on its own layer. The font we're using right now is Rock Grotesque. It's a part of the Creative Cloud font. The reason I'm using this is because it's got a big family here. You can choose different width of the font. It's very smooth when you're transitioning from, let's say, a black to like a thin line, thin width. So some of the other font might work as well, but I found in this case, we're using Rock Grotesque. Let's select all these layers here. Command D, duplicate drop them out top, and then change the label to a yellow color. Let's move all the yellow layers up. I want to change the width of this font here to a compressed thin. That looks good. Next, I need to create shape from all these different layers. Go to the bottom here, right click, create, create shapes from text. Basically, I need to go through every single layer and create shapes out of these letters. Now we got all the outlines of these letters. Let's select all the yellow ones. Select Label Group. And then click on this Shy button to hide all the layers. Click on this Hide All Layers button here. Then we can choose the red one, select Label Group, and then shy all these red layers as well. To make it clear, I want to select from K to M. Those are the thick letters. Change it to maybe a red color. And then all the blue ones are the thin letters. That's good. Select all the layers. Go to the search bar here. Put in path. Now you can see the path property is showed up. Just click on the stopwatch on every single one to add a keyframe at zero second. Now we got all of them. Command A, select all, and then hit U on the keyboard. It's going to show me all the path properties. Essentially, what we're trying to animate is go to maybe 10 frames forward, and then we can copy the path of this K, the path of this thin K keyframe here. Copy, Command C, and then go to the th thick one over here. Make sure we click on this path property and then paste it in, Command B. So what that does is if I show you the animation, I can solo this layer here. We copied the thin keyframe onto the path property of the thick layer. So we got this animation here. That's what we want to do for all the other letters. Let's quickly do that. Copy the keyframe. Paste it in. So for P, it's got both a outside shape and then there's an inside circle. That's why it has two paths. We need to copy both paths and then paste it on both path properties of this thicker P here. After we copy all of them, we can hide all these thin layers. Make sure we click off the I button and then click on the shy button. We can also hide the guide now. We have this animation here. That looks good. However, I want to give it more energy. Let's select all of them. Right click, keyframe assistant at the bottom, easy ease. Let's go to the curves. Now let's just drag the curve a little bit to give the motion some energy. Something like that. Let's go back out, see what it looks like. That looks good. So next, I want to add a null layer. Go to Layer New, 
null object. Make this one size control. And make sure we have this null layer at the baseline of this font here. Let's go to zero second. Make sure it's at the baseline. Select all these layers and then parent it to the null object. Now we can change the size of this thing here. Go to S for the size property, hit a keyframe here. And then when it becomes thinner, I want it to grow up like this big. I also want to easy ease this one, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, go to the graph editor, drag the curve, something similar to what we had for all these path properties. So they have the same momentum. Next, we just need to duplicate the keyframe, reverse them again so that there is not only a grow up and then there's also a shrinking down somewhere around maybe one second over here. Let's just copy all these keyframes. Paste, and then go forward 10 frames. I need to copy this original state. Let's see what it looks like. So if I want to give it more of a bouncy animation, I need to go to the scale property of this null object, go to the curve, and then let's try to animate it within value graph here. From this value graph, what I want to do is go forward two frames. I want to add a keyframe, hold down command, and then click on this curve here to add a keyframe here, and then drag it all the way down. So the curve looks like this. And then almost before it settles, I want to add another keyframe, command, click on it, and then drag it all the way up. That looks good. Just want to add a little bit of bounce Okay, that's the value curve we have. Let's see what the animation looks like. You see there's a little bounce, almost like a springing effect. That's the first part of the animation with the keep calm line. Let's unshy all the layers and then we need to select all of them except for the background and the guide layer. Command Shift C to pre-compose it. Rename it to keep calm animation. Click on OK. Now we have this keep calm animation layer here. Let's pull up the guide again. We need to animate this end in the middle. Select three of them, Command D, duplicate. Move it down. I need to change these three into different thickness. Now let's try this extra wide light. And then we need to move the A here. Same animation that we did before. I'm gonna show this end animation one more time. We're gonna animate the same way as we animated the keep calm and then the drink tea, you can do it yourself. First, we need to create shape layers from these letters. Right click, create shapes from text. Now we can select these text layers and Shy them, hide them, change these labels into a yellow color, select all the layers, search for the path property, add a keyframe at zero second for all of them, and then hit U on the keyboard to show only the path property. And before I do that, I also need to put a marker on the timeline. Let's go inside the keep calm and let's see where the animation is. So the animation is over here. Let's go back outside. Shift 7. Let's add a marker here. And then let's go back inside to see where my third keyframe is. It's over here, right around one second. Let's go back out, add another marker, Shift 8. And then let's go inside again. This is where the last keyframe is. Let's go back out and then Shift 9. So now we have three markers. It shows us where the keyframe is supposed to go. Let's go to this marker here. I want to copy the A keyframe, these two, Command C, and then go to the thicker A, paste it in, Command V, and then copy the N, paste it onto this one here, 
and then copy these two, paste it over here. And you can see right now it's all messed up because it doesn't have the spacing we need. So in this case, we need to select these three layers and then hit Shift P to pull up the position property, add a keyframe. The final spacing, we need to manipulate it. Get something like this. Let's hide these three yellow layers. Check out the eye button and then click on the shy button here. Next thing I want to do is go to layer new and then add another null object, size control as well. Select the three, make sure the null object is right in the center of this end here. And then we can select the three letters, parent it to the size null, hit S on the keyboard, click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe. And then over here at this second, change the X value on itself. I want to do something like this. And then we have the D stretched out, the A stretched out. That's the animation we want. And then let's go select all the keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, go to the graph editor, make sure we're in the speed graph. We just need to drag these curves a little bit more to give it some energy here. Let's see the animation. So essentially the last line is gonna be the same thing. Now I wanna to move to the next step, which is to add color to these letters. Let's go inside this keep calm animation here and then we can drag our color palette in, change the color of these letters. Let's go to effects and presets panel, search for fill effects, double click. Now we have a fill effect. I just want to sample the color from the fill effect, copy the fill onto all these letters. Okay, that looks nice. Turn off the palette, go back. For the end, I just want to keep it as this because it's going to give more contrast between the three lines. Now you can go ahead and animate the last line the same way we animated the first line. But for now, I can just drop this one in as I already have it. I also put some noise effects and some hand-drawn overlay onto my composition. If you want to learn how to do that, I've got a tutorial for that in another video. You can check it out in the corner link there or in the link in the description. There you have it. This is our full animation. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. We will be publishing more videos like this every single week. Please leave me a like and consider subscribing to the channel. We also have a free exclusive community where motion designers hang out and learn from each other. Click the link in the description to join our exclusive community. Hope to see you in the next video.